Welcome! Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Ukraine to take over Motorsich, Akronafta, other strategical enterprises owned by oligarchs. Four companies associated with controversial businessmen Kostyantin Zhivago, Iyer Kolomoisky and Konstantin Grigorishin may soon be nationalized, Ukrainska Pravda reported, citing unnamed sources in the National Securities and Stock Market Commission. The sources said the decision was made on November 6. The Ukrainian government may reportedly take full control of Akronafta, Akronit Nafta of Takriz and Zaporis Transformator. Reportedly, the country can also take over Motorsich, one of the world's leading manufacturers of aircraft engines based in Zaporizhzhia, whose head Vyacheslav Buhusleyev was arrested him on October 23rd. He is suspected of collaborating with Russia. Ukrainska Pravda wrote that it's unknown if the government would pay any compensations for the shares private owners have in these companies. About 42% of oil company Akronafta, for example, reportedly belong to the companies associated with Kolomoisky. The rest has been state-owned. Kolomoisky and his business partner Genady Bahalyabov also reportedly owned roughly 60% of the shares in Akronafta, one of the largest producers of oil products in the country. In July, Kolomoisky was allegedly stripped of his Ukrainian citizenship. Automobile company of Takras is owned by Zhivago, who face high-profile embezzlement charges after allegedly siphoning $113 million from finance and credit bank he used to own. The bank is now defunct. Zhivago was charged with embezzlement in September 2019. His whereabouts is unknown but he still owns a majority stake in mining firm for Expo, while his net worth, according to Forbes, is $1.3 billion. Manufacturer of power transformer equipment Zapor's transformator belongs to Grigorishin. Back in 2016, Grigorishin admitted he had financed Ukraine's Communist Party and had Russian citizenship. In Russia, Grigorishin was charged in absentia with tax evasion and sentenced to four years in prison in 2020.